I'm um, Joe Harper. I'm just going to show you how to make a simple text tutorial on um, Photoshop CS3. Click File, New, Open New Canvas. I choose 900 by 900. Press OK. And then View Actual Pixels. Simply choose the text tool and create the text that you want. In this case, I'm using the word name. Press OK at the top or click the Enter button. And then once you've done that, double click the layer to bring the blending options up. Then first, I always set a pattern so I know what the outcome is going to look like more quicker. Then once I've choose the pattern that I want, I'll simply use the drop shadow, change the angle to 90 degrees, then change the opacity to 100, or differ, whatever you're using. Distance, I use either 1 or 2, depending what I want. These are mainly the settings that I do use though. The size is usually around about 1 or 2, sometimes 0. I'm going to use 1 just to get a fine line and then simply going to use some inner shadow set it to soft light and change the distance to zero choke to about eleven size to around ten to twenty whatever you prefer and then I'm going to use bevel and boss size is zero don't really need to change the depth at all just up to yourself change the highlight mode to vivid light, change your opacity to whatever you want, usually keep it at the same, about 75 or change it, I'm just going to just keep it in the same area, then go to gradient overlay, set it to soft light or overlay, in this case I'm going to use overlay, change the opacity to around about 20, and then that's a basic quick example of text. There's other variations what you can do with different patterns and using the contour on your bevel and boss for example. If you choose the contour, I'll have to make me the size of the bevel about just more than zero. Change the contour. I always make sure that's clicked. Change the contour. Bring up other ones where are there contours, press append for the add or if not just upload them but there's a few what it already built into the system that you get with the program so I'm just going to choose one just for basic measure choose that and already that's give a lot of difference to the effect that it's gave so I'm going to click OK with that just to make it a bit better I'm going to choose a, just a quick grey background just a basic grey change paint bucket so you already that gives a real 3D effect and that's when you can see the actual product itself so if you don't like that you can change it to whatever you want just mess about with the options then once you've been happy with something I'm just going to change the pattern just to see if it looks better than any other ones. I say if I choose that one, simply then once you're finished and happy with what you've got, click new style, then save it as a style. Press OK, and then next time you want text, if it's back at its normal self, and you've saved the style, double click it, click styles. Then scroll down to the one you've created, click it, and all the settings are done for you. Just a little helpful tip. But anyway, it's a quick tutorial about how to create text. Thanks.